Good morning, grade one and two. This morning, I'm going to read you a story called The Giraffe Who Got in a Knot. This story is by John Bush and Paul Garrity. This book is about a giraffe who is so busy eating some leaves that he gets his neck tied up in a knot. How on earth will he get himself undone? And we are reading this story because of this fancy word right here. This week, we are going to learn all about the silent K. Mrs. Harvey Zing's class, you spent all week learning about the silent K. So this will be a good story um, to review the silent K words that we know. Let's get started. The sun was ablaze in the African sky when Cardwell Giraffe just happened to spy a quite irresistible camel thorn tree, the sight of which made Cardwell weak at the knee. Ooh, bless my spots just to think I was born to feast upon such a fine camel thorn. Without further bother or fuss or ado, Cardwell opened his mouth and started to chew. Out curled his tongue and in went the leaves of that fine camel thorn, most delicious of trees. If you notice, this book is rhyming. Great job. In a rapture of eating, his eyes slowly closed. In a rapture of eating, he followed his nose. Sniffity sniff, chomping here, chomping there, with the scent of fresh camel thorn filling the air. He chewed and he chewed and he carried on chewing. Pity he couldn't see what he was doing. For he bent and controlled, contorted himself such a lot that he tied his neck up in a big spotted knot. What have I done, he cried, what shall I do? I wish that I'd kept my eyes open to chew. How funny I look, my friends will all laugh. Oh, who will undo such a naughty giraffe? By now, all the beasts of the African jungle had gathered around to observe Cardwell's bungle. Cardwell's a shorty, a shorty, they teased. From now on, he'll have to find much shorter trees. Cry, Cardwell, please help me untie myself, please, said Zebra. You might come undone if you sneeze. So they tickled his nose till he sneezed with such power that ostrich's feathers blew off in a shower. But the sneeze did not work. Its only effect was to tighten, not loosen, the knot in his neck. Then tugging and pulling, the elephants tried with all of their strength to get Cardwell untied. Stop it, yelled Cardwell. Oh, stop it, please do. If you keep on much longer, my spots will turn blue. At this stage, a bundu bird hopped on his head. Now, Cardwell, just do as I ask you, he said. Wherever I fly, let your head follow me. Don't worry, I'm sure this will work. Wait and see. He twisted and circled around Cardwell's head and Cardwell's eyes followed wherever he led. When he stopped, the dismay on the animal's faces told Cardwell the truth. He had knots in three places. At last, Lionel Lion, who was usually right, growled, I know what he needs, a jolly good fight. Fright. So he sat before Cardwell, then opened his jaws and let out the most ferocious of roars. Cardwell's hair stood on end. He shuddered and shivered from the shock of the roar that Lionel delivered. His teeth rattled loose. His eardrums were shattered. But... His neck was quite straight, and that was what mattered. The animals burst into joyful applause. What a tumult went up from their hooves and their paws. 
Now, Carbell said, Lionel, next time that you're chewing, do keep your eyes open and watch what you're doing. Yes, sir, said Carbell, as sure as I'm spotted, that's the very last time I will get myself knotted. And there he is, all untangled. Thanks for coming uh, to read a story with me this morning. I hope that we have a great week and I hope that you um, are able to find some words this week that have a silent K at the beginning of them. See you guys soon. Bye.